always watching out for you. This is a First Alert 5 weather alert. 5 a.m. Good Monday morning. Taking a live look outside. If you are getting ready for work, be sure to give yourself a lot of extra time. The snow is still falling. Those roads are slick. And this morning we are tracking some trouble spots on the roadways and how long this winter weather is going to last. A lot of school closures and delays this morning and through the day because of the weather in the Colorado Springs area. Districts 2, 11, 12, and 49 all closed down as our Fountain Fort Carson School District 8 and Whitefield School District 3. All of the closures and delays scrolling at the bottom of your screen and you can find them anytime at KOA.com. And usually around 5 a.m. is when a lot of districts start making their decisions also some of the larger districts i'm so. actually a little shocked that that many schools have already called it so far but it is slick out there this yeah, morning and sure. the visibility on the lanes is hard to come by this yeah. morning as well well and sam we're focused in on the snow that's out there but the mm -hmm. temperatures since yesterday have just been brutal it's been rough Ugh. it's been rough outside so here's the deal still plenty of snowfall across the region we've got it from pueblo to colorado springs all the way into denver West into the Wet Mountains, west into Canyon City, west of Fremont County and Teller County. And the snow is going to keep falling and actually kind of spread out. Those of you Walsenburg, Trinidad, no snow yet, but closer to 7, 8, probably start to come down a little heavier. There are periodic heavy bands, especially right now south of Widefield on that southern I-25 drive. As we look back west, it's been really heavy snow through Fremont County. All of those roads are slick. Same with getting into Beulah and then out into Pueblo. More snow spreading into Pueblo County. Problem today is that temperatures are so cold, the snow is falling and sticking to the roads, and we will stay at or below freezing, well below for Colorado Springs, all day. Bree, Ira? Thank you, Sam. In Colorado Springs, the snow continuing to pick up, making lane visibility very difficult at times. And there are slick spots. We have team coverage this morning, beginning with News 5's Katie Blaze. And where are you right now, Katie? Well, we are near Union and Pikes Peak right now. Really slick conditions on the road. That snow coverage on the roads increased even more in just the last half hour. Starting to get a little bit deeper in some areas like here on Union. We are starting to see some plows out and about and those drivers, they are going to be busy today because this stuff is just not letting up and it is sticking. That in mind, take it slow, especially going around corners, up and down those hills, making those turns. Increase your following distance behind other vehicles this morning as well if you do happen to slip or have to brake quickly. If you are too close and driving too fast, that could mean an accident. And speaking of accidents, remember Colorado Springs Police and City of Fountain are both on accident alert status this morning. That means if you run into a jam and there are no injuries, no alcohol or drugs involved, file a report online within 72 hours. We of course will continue to track conditions for you this morning. In the meantime, stay safe. We have plenty of time to get to your destination and stay warm. Guys, back to you. I appreciate that update, Katie. Be sure to check before heading to the airport today if you've got flight plans. DIA reporting numerous delays overnight and more likely will continue as that snow continues through the morning. We've also seen delays at the Springs Airport. So again, call ahead and if you got to drive to DIA, give yourself lots of time. Been, Sam's been telling us it's a slow go up north. And CDOT does have plows deployed all across Colorado to try to clear the roads. This is a real time map of where those plows are working right now. And you can see they're out in force from west to east, from Fort Collins and Denver to the Springs and Pueblo. So if you see a plow while driving, obviously give a lot of space to them on the road. And we're also tracking the conditions for your morning commute in Pueblo. News 5's Jessica Barreto in the passenger seat down in Pueblo as she continues our team coverage for us. Jessica. Good morning, Bree and Ira. We're in Pueblo. We're on Highway 50 right now, heading towards Pueblo West. And I can tell you what I'm seeing on the roads is a mixture of snow and ice. Now, the snow keeps falling down here in Pueblo. Now, some areas look less snow covered than others. This is one of the more covered areas we've seen. But I can tell you the biggest thing to keep in mind is that temperatures are well below the freezing point. So even if roads look wet, be careful because that may be a layer of ice. It all comes down to whether roads are 
treated or not. And of course, that's hard to tell when you're in the driver's seat. So just anticipate that ice on the road. Drive extra carefully, especially if you're heading out for your morning commute. Now, I want to keep uh, want to throw out some uh, times that you want to keep in mind this morning. The heaviest band of snow is expected to roll into this area after 7 a.m. So be careful if your commute is around that time. Be ready for some more snowfall. We will give you another live look coming up at 530. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Jessica Barreto, News 5. Thank you, Jessica. Our team coverage of the early winter weather blast will continue all through the morning right here on News 5 and at KOA.com. Be sure to download the News 5 apps. You'll be in the know about the weather and traffic conditions wherever you go. Another big story that we are following for you. Jury selection beginning today in Patrick Frazee's murder trial. Frazee charged in the disappearance and presumed murder of his fiance, Kelsey Barris. She was last seen on November the 22nd of last year. Frazee is facing eight charges, including first degree murder. And once jury selection is complete, the trial is expected to take about three weeks. And we, of course, are tracking it for you very closely. 505 now, let's swing it over to meteorologist Sam Schreier on a weather alert Monday, Sam. Oh, absolutely. So what we're expecting is deteriorating road conditions if they're not already bad, like Colorado Springs, for instance. We are still snowing. It is extremely cold. The cars and trucks are creeping along I-25, and it's cold enough that anything that looks wet is probably got a layer of ice in there. So you can't guarantee it even with the snow melt that makes it a little trickier, but it is slick outside tough to be driving up hills in front wheel drive cars. Found that out. My Honda Accord got up the hill outside our work, but it makes it tough in Woodland Park. Still seeing very heavy snowfall. It's snow on the roads. It's nine degrees currently with a calm wind. That's the only good thing about this system is the wind is not that bad in Pueblo. Good coverage, low visibility outside 24 degrees. So those roads are staying icy. They're staying snow covered out there until plows can get to them. And then Trinidad, still plenty of snow outside on the roads. How or excuse me, still a little bit of snow out there. More of this will be on the way. It's really even flurries so far. So here's the situation. We have this dip in the jet stream that is still creeping into Colorado. As it pulls closer, the snowfall will increase. The snow will get stronger. So I think that the worst time to be on the road today will probably be between 7 to 11 this morning for kind of most of the area. We've got a low pressure area helping that out, but cold air behind the cold front. You definitely felt that yesterday. Looking in closer to the Pikes Peak region, We've got snow from Denver to Colorado Springs and settling into Pueblo, starting to fill out southern Pueblo County. So more snow is arriving as we look into Colorado Springs, a bit more local from Widefield, Security Widefield through the Springs to Monument. Coverage of snow, 94, 24 east to Calhan, 24 to Rush, 94 to Rush, I mean, still getting snow. And in and around Teller County and down 115 to Penrose, tons of snowfall. The air temperature is cold and so are the roads. 16 degrees for the road temperature, the Guard of the God sensor, negative one over the Monument Hill sensor. So the pavement is going to hold ice. It's going to hold snowfall. Canyon City into the wet mountains and out east. That is a slick stretch of roads, so we all have to be extremely careful. And there are some flurries falling from Colorado City to Trinidad. But the thinking is that this will get stronger as we get closer to six to eight o'clock. So by six, a few more flurries south of Pueblo. But by 7 to 8, here is where the good snow is really spread throughout the region. By 9 to 10, some of the heaviest banding will be from the wet mountains south to Trinidad. By lunchtime, start to pull the snow away from the Pikes Peak region, Canyon City. But it's not really till 2 to 3 o'clock we start to back that off in the southern plains and out east. And by 4 to 5, we are good to go. Let's go to traffic. We are going to do Colorado Avenue, so a little bit south of our Garden of the Gods camera. This is I-25 over top of Colorado Avenue. Both roads are covered in snow, and it's a slick drive no matter where you are. So here's a little wide view on our traffic network. Right now, a lot of the slowdowns are central Colorado Springs, south through Fountain, south to Pueblo. It seems to be where traffic is a little bit more dense this morning and everybody is taking their time. The other big commute issue is getting you to Denver. Now is the perfect time to go if you have to go because there are fewer cars on the road. But you do need to know, typical commute time to Denver is about 50 minutes this time of day. So it's now 20 minutes slower. There's no accidents, but all it takes is one to turn this to a nasty drive north. 